Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has more tracks than any other game. However, despite DLC, it's still missing some fan favorites. So in this video, we take a look at some custom retro tracks made specifically for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Let me know which track is your favorite in the comment section below. Alright, so we're starting off with everyone's favorite Mario Kart Wii course, Maple Treeway. And if it's not your favorite, well, we can't be friends. I'm also going to be playing on motion controls just because it's more of an added challenge since we can't play these custom tracks online just yet but it would be so sick if we could actually get ctgp8 on mario kart 8 deluxe that'd be awesome but yeah as you can tell i'm on banjo no just actually not banjo kazoo it's only banjo on the minecart from minecraft this is freaking wild but uh yeah if you guys want to check out um this custom track or rather a set of custom tracks be sure to check out the description down below it's uh provided by sitbar um, from GameBanana.com and it has like cool creators who have made courses before like ZPL like a famous name like that So yeah, but we're going to be checking out the retro tracks in today's video as you can tell and let me just say man Maple True the remake. Oh my god. is actually really Spot on this is like almost a direct port from the Wii version. Oh, I miss that mushroom. That sucks I honestly love Maple Tree Way. It's like one of my favorite courses from Mario Kart Wii uh, besides DK Summit, it would be awesome if we can get like a DK Summit port from somebody. It would be freaking amazing. But um, yeah, let's go try this shortcut here on the right, even though I don't got a mushroom here. Sorry for the atrocious gameplay. Again, not accustomed to motion controls. And we got it there. Oh my gosh, okay. So the cannon, by the way, forgot to mention, is now just a regular glider. Um, same physics like Sweet Sweet Canyon in the base game, so nothing too special there, but I'm glad they actually uh, use the cannon in some way. We also have these Goombas. Well, at least that was there before the shock. Oh, you can see it right here. The stack of Goombas. Um, they replaced the Wigglers because I don't think you can really port the Wiggler just yet, I guess. They made this part a glider, as you could tell, instead of like that bouncy um, bridge. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And also, I forgot to mention that you could tell from this coin, um, we're actually playing on an Animal Crossing... I don't know what you would call it, like a skin for the coins and other items. Like you could tell from the item box, the next time you hear the box. There you go, you could hear that. Totally different from the original sound effect. Let's see if we can get this mushroom. I totally missed the other one. Oh my gosh, I missed that. Guys, let me know what other mods you guys want me to check out, whether it be CTs or characters, skins, um, carts. I have other carts that we can check out too. If you guys also want me to check out Mario Kart Wii mods, uh, be sure to comment down below because I would love to do Mario Kart Wii mods as well. But here we go. First place, baby, on the first retro track of the video. Let's go. Look how happy Banjo is. <laughs> Yo, this is so sick. DS Airship Fortress, guys. Oh, man, I'm so excited to play this one, guys. Look at the freaking atmosphere. It's all, like, sunset now. Whereas in the other games, I believe it was only, like, nighttime, if I'm not mistaken. And they're playing TikTok Clock in the background. Nice. It's not that bad. It's, it's okay. Also, we got Steve, my enemy over here. Steve, you freaking schemer. But yeah, look at this. It's all like super orange and you know, I think I like it. It's okay. It's very evil-like, I guess. But um, yeah, I love seeing the uh, NPCs in the background. Uh, the paratroopers, hammer bro, and uh, shy guys. This part is pretty cool. It looks pretty much the same as the original, if I don't recall. Also, this is really slow. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's a little too slow. I don't know if I really like that. But this section is pretty cool. Now... I believe in a lot of these custom tracks, they're obviously not perfect, right? So, you gotta be careful when playing these. You don't wanna, like, accidentally hit a side wall or whatever you wanna call it. Because you're gonna, like, probably soft lock. It's gonna take, a uh, what do you call it, lack of two, five years to pick you up. Bruh, I think the blue shell does not know what to do, guys. Look at that, the blue shell. You guys see that right now? You guys see that? The freaking white, what? Okay, I don't know what that was. The blue shell was, like, on the side. Just chilling. And now it's like, oh my god, it's like stuck on the map. That's hilarious. Custom tracks are always nice. Especially since we haven't seen actual real uh, tracks come back on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe yet. The freaking second wave is still not here, you guys. It's crazy. But hopefully we'll have a Nintendo Direct sometime soon. Oh my gosh, the blue shell passed me again. That's freaking hilarious. Also, we see, um, we see like a, a Daisy player <laughs> just freaking getting stuck, soft locked over there because they don't know what to do. That's interesting. But we'll still get first place. No problem. Oh, wait, what? Fourth place? Excuse me? Wait, what? 
Okay, got first place somehow. I don't know why my ranking, I don't know, got messed up there, but we take those, guys. We take those. Okay, guys, so I am super excited to play this one. This one is Banshee Boardwalk from Mario Kart 64. I remember as a kid, I used to hate this course because I would always fall off because of the slippery, like, roads. And we're playing Super Bell Subway? No, this is, like, Piranha Plant Slide music. Interesting. Oh, gosh, please. No! Unbelievable. un freaking believable But yeah, this is such a massive overhaul. Like, you can see more of the stage now. In the original, it was, like, so dark. Yo, look, you can actually see freaking boats on the side over there. That's really cool. And then there's trees in the background to, you know, make the background nicer and stuff like that. It's very colorful. Like, a lot of purple, yellow, green. It's really nice. Um, I like how they changed stuff up. Like, they actually filled in the area. It's just, just, just not, like, complete darkness or something. Let's go check out this um, shortcut over here. Yeah, we made it. All right. So they try to recreate the bat cave here, but not a lot of bats are coming out. Yeah, we've got some barrels on the side here to make the atmosphere, I guess, and more lights. And there's also a ramp over there, which was nice to see because like in the other game, it was just, you know, a straightaway. So it makes it less boring pretty much. So I definitely like this remake a lot. I think it's a lot better than the original. I would love to see it a little bit slippery though, because like in the original, it was slipperier, I think. If I'm not mistaken. I know in the first one it was. I don't, unless it was just the mechanics of Mario Kart 64. But everything else, like, you know, I love it. Alright, so it seems like the CPU is also having a hard time here. I'm still also using motion controls here, as you can tell. See? It's moving. <laughs> oh, red shell coming. There we go. Dude, uh, guys, I am so far ahead. These CPU got nothing on me, guys. Look at this. Look how far I am against my rival, Mario. Against Mario. <laughs> Literally. And just like that, guys, we are done with Banshee Boardwalk. I like that one a lot. A little bit more of a boring race this time, but I still like it. This is the original Sky Garden, minus the blue road, but, like, it's the original map. As you can tell on the right, guys, it's the original layout. Look at this. It's not, like, the simplified version. So I like this one 10 times better already. Actually, 100 times better. Let me know in the comment section below if you agree. Um, the only thing I would do is change, like, the road to the, uh, what is it? The greenish-yellow pebble road texture, whatever you want to call it. But other than that, everything's good. Like, I have, like, a lot of these paratroopers just like in Tor and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Um, and the beanstalks all over here. Everything is good. I think the shortcut's here. Yeah, the shortcut's there. Let's see if we could try that. I want to see if I can make that without a mushroom. Actually, I'm going to step back here and try to get a good item. Because I've been front running the whole entire time. Oh, perfect. Okay, so we have a golden. We're going to try doing the shortcut in lap two over here. Actually, let's do this shortcut. Let me show this one. Whoop. Oh, it's a glider. What the freak? That's awesome. Now we're going to keep this star in second place. Smuggle this in first. It's a lot easier to smuggle. Uh, am I forced to use this? No. Well, I gotta slow down now, guys. Alright. I failed that completely. Okay, but at least it worked. I don't know. Let's try that again. Oh, ew. This freaking item. Oh my gosh. I'm getting wrecked, guys. Come on, come on. Give me something good. Again? Another freaking piranha? Are you serious, game? Come on. Mushrooms. Okay, a star is fine. Alright, let's use this now. All right, we didn't fail this time. I had to slow down a little bit, but a sketch shortcut isn't that bad. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we dropped that bomb there. Get first place. See, when you're playing against CPUs, anything goes. You can back up and still win. <laughs> so guys, when I was like 13 or 14 years old, I was stoked to play on Rock Rock Mountain. I didn't know what the stage was called at the time, but I remember when I first got this game on my 3DS on my like 14th or 15th birthday. Um... I love this course. This was something I wanted to play instantly. And um, this remake, looking pretty good so far, guys. I love the look. Of course, we got the cave section with the pillars in the way. We got nice um, signs here to tell you where to go. And look at this scenery. I love this. I love how you could just fly off here. Okay, the glider's a little jank over there, but still works. You could just fly off into the abyss. All the pipes are here, and just all forests, pretty much. I could definitely tell, like, whenever CTGP8 comes out or whatever on Deluxe, it's gonna be nice to come back here, because, like, look at all the off-road here, guys. You can all come back just by doing the off-road shortcut over here. Also, we're playing as Steve, as you can tell, guys. An amazing mod. We're also on, like, the hamburger cart from uh, the SpongeBob 
movie. And yeah, so the rocks are working, which is cool. They probably like use the same animations and whatnot from Choco Mountain or something. Let's see if we can snipe. It's Villager! Oh, we missed. Also, that ramp is still there too. I should try it out in the last lap. Also, it's very interesting to see in the minimap right there. I don't know, like little like road on the left side. Let's see if we can check it out. And there's nothing over there. We can literally just see rocks. Interesting how the map extends over there. Let's see if we can pull something good over here. Actually, no, we're not gonna pull anything good because these CPUs suck. They're like literally going on the off-road. Guys, <laughs> what was that? Let's see if we can uh, trick off the ramp here. Come on, and let's go down, 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 down. Oh, we did it. I was a little freaking sketch, but we did it. And also we're getting blue shelled. Even though I like this course as a kid, looking back at it now, it's really not that <laughs> amazing. Personally, it's just kind of like boring in the middle section, but it was the vibe back in the day, you know? And so here we are on Mushroom Bridge from one of my favorite Mario Kart games of all time, Mario Kart Double Dash. I'm just gonna say right now, guys, Mushroom City, a lot better than Mushroom Bridge. But this song bops, oh my gosh. It's like the remix of Mushroom Bridge Slash City. This is awesome. Also, this is scaled pretty good too, IMO. I mean, Steve looks a little too big still <laughs> on this Krabby Patty and also on the course itself. He looks so freaking gigantic. Let's see if we can go on top of these. But this is still good. I love how there's mushrooms in the background. I don't know if you can jump off those, but we're gonna try. Oh, that was a glider. Can we trick this? No, we can't. Okay, the textures are nice. Like. They fit well. Mushroom Bridge, I can understand why a lot of people like this course a lot. Um, because there's just so much going on. Let's see if we can do this this time. Oh, I wanted to, like, I wanted to jump on top of those mushrooms. I wonder if there's an actual hitbox. Oh, I almost got Kermit over there. He got, oh, oh <laughs> he got pushed back by the purple car. That's hilarious. Here at the final lap. I don't think there's a shortcut over here. Let me go backwards here for this. Is there a shortcut? No, they closed off the shortcut over here. Dang. All right, we can come back, guys. Okay, we're not going to come back if I keep making mistakes like that. Let's do the shortcut. I haven't showed the shortcut yet, which is uh, nice. Now I can be... Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm able to. I almost got boned by freaking Daisy over there. All right. Oh, my... bro! That freaking truck scared the crap out of me. Okay, we definitely need to use shortcut over here, guys. Oh, what? I... Okay, you can trick off of that. I don't think I'm going to get first place, but we are going to get second place. And we beat Kermit, guys. Kermit, you try beating me, but not today. Showing off another Wii course, Moonview Highway. Ooh, Moonview Highway, I had so many memories playing this course back as a kid. And so far, it looks pretty good. We're also using the Dark Bones mod from Paper Mario and the Thousand in Your Door. Look at him. He looks really cool. Oh, gosh. Oh, I just ran into that car, bro. But I like how the arrows are really shiny and you can see where to go. And even, like, the reflections of... The bridge too you can see that which is really nice oh they made this easier so you can see where to go i like that but i also i also don't like it at the same time because it makes it a little easier it's like baby method in my opinion but yeah it looks pretty solid um the trucks and cars could go a little faster but i can tell that this on 200 cc is gonna be interesting oh my gosh i could just see myself play online rage quit we're gonna go up here i'm gonna take this ramp there's a lot of coins here for some reason Oh, you can see, like, cities from the... No, those are not cities. Those are just random mountains or leaves, whatever you want to call it. I like the sign here. It's a smooth view highway. Pretty solid. We got ourselves the Danger, bob and Caution blooper. It's the, literally the same as Mario Kart Wii. Unfortunately, there's no bob car, which I'm very disappointed. They don't have that. Oh, well. That's unfortunate. But it seems like the routes... For the um, ramps are pretty good. Like, they're like almost the same, if not the exact same. I don't think I'm ever gonna play in this course with motion controls again. This is like super difficult. I'm gonna get this double. All right, we're gonna try the route that I take in Mario Kart Wii, aka what people usually do. Now I'm gonna get freaking blued. <gasps> oh, what if I actually avoided that? That'd be amazing. Let me know in the comments section below if you're able to dodge a blue shell with a boost panel. So that was a little scuffed boost panel shortcut, whatever you want to call it, the optimal route, because I kept getting hit by everything. <laughs> but there you have it, Moonview Highway, pretty solid, very faithful to the original. I like, I like how they made a lot of things like reflectors, you know, they're really nice to see where, you know, where to go, obviously with the arrows and the bridge looks cool, the moon I see in the background and yeah, overall solid. All right, so here we are on our last course 
DS Rainbow Road. I haven't played this iteration of Rainbow Road since the DS. And look how amazing this looks, guys. Like, the loop-de-loop slash corkscrew part looks fantastic. I saw, like, these um, invincible-looking uh, pipes are all, like, rainbow-y. Look at all the uh, particle effects. They're really cool, too. Is this going to run in 60 frames? Yeah, and it also has the original music. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, this is bringing me back, dude. This is bringing me back when I was like, I don't even know how old, maybe eight or nine years old when I first got this game. This is awesome, guys. And I remember I used to snake on this course all the freaking time. Let's see if this works. Oh my god, this is sketched, bro. Ooh, okay. It still works. It just is kind of scary. I remember this turn being a difficult as a kid. For some reason, I would always fall off here when I first started playing this game. Or, Mar sorry, rather, Mario Kart DS. But I like the particle effects. It's pretty solid. You can tell it's just like a wallpaper scroll, basically, but it's still really nice. And we have other random stuff, too, like that building on the right. That was definitely not in the original. But yeah, there's Space Station-like stuff from Mario Kart 8's Rainbow Road. And I think I saw a Grand Star somewhere. Yeah, there's like some Grand... Yeah, right there on the top. It was a Grand Star. Actually, there's more than one. And like, like I said earlier, the rainbow pipes are really cool. I uh, mean, I like how, how many times I said really cool in this video? Probably like, I want to say 20 times. <laughs> Alright, going on this corkscrew again. This is not that bad. I just don't like the first one as much. I remember as a kid, I would see t uh, task runs of Mario Kart DS and people would like skip from jump jumping from the side or something over there. It's something crazy like that. And I never could pull it off, obviously because, well, I never knew how to do two assisted runs on Mario Kart or just in general. I didn't know how they worked. I thought they were originally from the game. I remember I would also drop a banana over here and for some reason the CPU, when they would hit that, they would freaking fall off the course somehow. I think it's because of like due to the gravity or something. But that was like a cheesy way to win sometimes because you would just like screw the CPU from the corkscrew slash loop-de-loop. -loop. But that is it, guys. Rainbow Road on Mario Kart DS. So much nostalgia racing on this course, but I do hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you want to see more Mario Kart videos or Mario Kart mods just in general. Let me know in the comment section below if you want to see certain mods. I would love to see what you guys um, offer for me. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time for more Mario Kart custom tracks, retro tracks, and much more. See you guys later.